Well, howdy, folks. Man, pooch is pooped. But we have got to take care of some business. And first things first, it's going to involve Pooch getting out to the shop, the big shop, getting to the shop fridge. Because I'm thinking I need to get a hold, and it ain't no cold snack. It's going to be a soda of some sort because I need some energy. I came in from work. I ate because I was starving. So I had to eat whatever I get my hands on. And what I ate was a salad and I had made some stew as well. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna go with a Sprite. But regardless, I think Pooch filled his gut. Now Pooch is tired. <laughs> so I gotta get a little bit of something in me to perk up that energy. And if I'd have had a cold snack, that wouldn't have done me not one bit of good. I know these are caffeine free, but maybe it'll take a little bit of the pressure off the old gut and put a little bit of some sort of liveness into me because I definitely need it. But Pooch has got a project he needs to deal with and I think I need to get after it before pretty gets into pooch, so I better take care of it because I, I don't want to see the other side of pretty because believe you me, it ain't that pretty. So give pooch a second, let him get this soda drink, and then we're going to get in and take care of what needs taken care of, and I'll bring you along with me. Yes, sir. Gotta go. Baby's gotta go. Yep. All right, pretty. Hey, love you. Love you too. See you here in a little bit. Lay a prayer across your fingers, your eyes, your toes, something. Well, I will be. Go to my channel. Go to baby's channel. All right, pretty. We're hoping. We're hoping that uh, Pretty's No Judgment Here radio show will finally and actually be directly sent to her No Judgment Here YouTube channel. So, um... You folks probably see this after the fact, but y'all be sure and check out No Judgment Here with Tish Ross's YouTube channel. She's got a show tonight she's just going out to go do. So, while Pretty's gone, Pooch is going to go in there and take care of Pretty's request. Yes, sir. Now, by the book looks of this location, I'm sure it ain't hard for y'all to figure out what kind of project Pooch is about to get into. He's in here. He's under the bathroom sink. And dual sinks, I might add. And it seems as if we got a clog. My sink over there is draining fine. But this sink over here ain't draining too good so pooch has got to get into it and he's got to see what in the sam hill's going on but before he gets too far off into it 
and gets his hands all jacked up, messed up. I got to get a pinch between my cheek and gum because um, you know what Pooch calls it. This is his calm down. This will prevent me from firing a tool across the house. Nah, not really, but I definitely wanted to get a pinch between my cheek and gum before I dive off into this project. Shouldn't be that hard. Ought to be able to take care of it pretty easy. So, um, y'all just sit on back and take a watch. Yes, sir. We had a pretty hairy mess, <laughs> but Pooch got it done. He first opened up that pea trap. It was clean as a whistle, but I figured it was all stopped up around that plunger. And sure enough, it was. It was so thick that even the industrial strength drain opener liquid that I use in the hospitals wasn't touching it. But by golly, I got her now. And Pretty will be happy when she comes home and goes to brush her teeth and that sink isn't filling up. And she could open that plunger up and she'll drain down quick. But woo! I probably ought to do mine, but I don't think mine's that bad. But just to give you a quick idea, this thing around the water, it would fill up. And then you had all that backwash and who knows what caught up in it. But now, she's flowing pretty good. Let's get an eye on it and see real quick. Look at there. Yeah. That's all she needed. Boy, I hate messing with stuff like that. But we got another project to do. So sit tight and let's get after it. Yes, sir. Look here. My puppy dog down there. <laughs> Supervising. Well, I got to go drag something out of the old truck and bring it here and put together. But I also got to get ready to moderate Pretty's radio show. But give me a second. Let me go grab that there item out of the truck so I can bring her in here and get her ready to assemble. Man. We've had so much crap brought in here lately. I guess I ought to make a little run first. Let me get this real quick. I need to make a little room so I can make more room for more stuff. Good Lord. That dog's toys. But some of this stuff we were waiting on, so that's a good. But anyway, I'll be right back. I don't know if y'all can see this, but 
This is what Pooch is going to have to put together. And it's a clothes rack with shelves on it. Pretty and I got a big show we're about to go to here in the next week or so. And we needed more space. And we needed more shelving and clothes racks in order to display some of the stuff that we're going to be carrying to that show. So that's what this is all about. But um, let Pooch get situated and let him run through Pretty's No Judgment here with Tish Ross show, which I might add again, No Judgment with Tish Ross on her YouTube channel. No Judgment with Tish Ross. That's my pretty. Y'all should go over there and check it out. Every Monday night, she usually has a live radio guest. So, um, anyway, let Pooch get after it. Yes, sir? Well, now we're going to try to put this here room essentials together. Now, this is a clothes rack with some shelves on it, if you can't tell. Now, Pretty and I are going to be using this as a display in our upcoming show that we're going to be participating in. Well, I say show. It is a, um, it's a Chamber of Commerce convention. And Pretty and I will be setting up our booth, FBC Mercantile and Boutique, at this event. So, it's supposed to be a pretty good size event with quite a few turnout for this particular one and it's a little bigger than some we've done before but um you know that's how you get out there that's how you spread the word and that's how you grow so we've definitely been updating our merchandise and we've been updating our equipment that we produce with so there's an old saying out there you got to spend money to make money. Well, we've definitely been spending the money. I can't say, well, we've made some money, but you know, you make just enough to pay for what you spend, but it's getting your hat out there, your name out there for other folks to see and to be recognized. And that's how you grow. And that's what Pretty and I are trying to do. But let's get after it. Let's see if we can put this thing together because we got a ton more stuff to do before this show. So let's do it.
Well, Pooch got her assembled. Wasn't that bad, but if you didn't watch it, it sure could have got you. <laughs> but we needed this thing. As you can tell, it's got shelves. It's got a clothes rack upper and, well, upper and middle. And then a top shelf, bottom shelf. But yes, we definitely needed that thing. It was easy, but if you didn't pay attention, like I didn't, and the good thing is I caught it as I was just getting started because certain pieces went a certain way. They all might have looked alike, but they sure as heck didn't go together alike. Woo! Y'all know what time it is now for Pooch. He's held off for all this time. It's time to get a cold snack. So let Pooch go on out there and get him one real quick. Yeah, let's reach into the old bag of tricks. And you know what? I got stuff. You know the old Oktoberfest? Oh, well, shoot. That wasn't good. But Oktoberfest is coming to an end tomorrow. And there ain't a whole lot of Oktoberfest left around. And that's one of Pooch's favorite Shinerbach cold snacks is Oktoberfest. But he found this one here, St. Arnold Oktoberfest. That's pretty good too. It's got a pretty good taste to it. I don't know if it's just because I'm partial to Shiner Buck or what. Which, yeah, I am. But I hope before the end of November, I hope like heck somebody's got some more of those Oktoberfest in there. Mm mm. Yeah. Pooch did the right thing by holding off until after he completed his tasks. Because uh, y'all seen it. He had a little plumbing and he had a little assembly. And both of them were for pretty. Both of them were for my pretty. So I did a good thing tonight. She had a radio show. She was off doing that. I watched and moderated as well. Pretty good show. Glad to see it finally actually streamed over to her YouTube channel, which is a good thing. But good Lord, Pretty and Pooch is going to be busy this full upcoming week. We got tons of shirts to make. Got stickers to make. The assembly's out of the way. I got to try out some new stuff. I got to learn how to use this thing. A new big vinyl cutter. So, um, as you, look at there. We've already got stuff set out, staged out. And it's even that away in the house. Good Lord. You know, but... It is what it is. But folks, I appreciate all y'all watching. I'm sure I'll tune you guys in on a little more shirt making action. Who knows what else Pooch has got to do. There'll be plenty. But also, Pooch and Pretty will definitely be in 7 p.m. Wednesday night, Central Standard Time, for uh, Pretty and Pooch on Framley Night. And we can't wait for that night either. But um, Pooch is going to try to knock this video out, edit it, upload it, and uh, sip on that cold snack. And probably get in there and go horizontal. So um, I hope you folks enjoyed this. And I hope you folks remember, everybody needs a friend named Pooch. And they call me Pooch.
Yes, sir.